Hello, my name is Denami. Welcome to the EAG. Hey, guess what? This is my theme song. I get the feeling that something epic happened this weekend. Something highly anticipated, but I just can't put my finger on it. Something big, with a lot of hype. Feel like I should know this. As if I've been beaten over the head with not-so-subtle reminders for many years. It's really bothering me now. Because it feels like there's been a non-stop assault marketing campaign. Just in case there's one more person without internet or TV living on Mars in a cave with their eyes shut and their hands over their ears. Oh yeah! The trailer for Frankenweenie was released this weekend. I saw the trailer for it when I went to the midnight showing of a much lesser known movie. It was called The Avengers. And I'm not surprised you haven't heard of it. The marketing campaign was really weak. I'm kind of surprised there was anyone else in the theater at all. I mean, I hardly even heard about it before I went to see it. The least they could have done was run a TV commercial commercial or two, a couple lengthy trailers, talk about it in a bunch of other movies, generate maximum amounts of hype through internet buzz, cause years and years of hype and anticipation. That's the least they could have done. I mean, that's what I would have done. Would have been better than doing nothing at all. I mean, come on, guys. It was actually a pretty awesome movie. It deserved a better marketing campaign. Scoff. Yeah, actually, it was a pretty good movie. I was surprised. Pleasantly surprised. I mean, for a franchise that has almost no backstory, no existing lore of any kind, certainly doesn't already have a huge existing following like Frankenweenie. Ha! <laughs> I saw it with a friend who was one of those few, very rare, hardly any at all, people who had actually heard about the Avengers prior to seeing the movie, and he had nothing but good things to say about it. How it was exactly exactly everything a fan would have wanted from it. He was a little worried that it would be more cheesy now that Disney owns Marvel. Now in case you're like me and haven't heard of Marvel or Disney before, Marvel is the company responsible for creating all of the characters in the Avengers. And Disney is an evil world controlling empire. Now that was a joke, please don't sue. The selling point for me though was that it was directed by Joss Whedon. I mean you all remember his huge epically popular TV show Firefly and how could you not? That show ran for years and years and didn't ever get cancelled because it was so hugely popular. I'll say as a fan of Joss Whedon, Whedonite, I will say that the Avengers was covered in Whedonisms. It was very Whedon-esque, Whedonistic, Whedony. Any Whedonite knows that Joss Whedon always has someone you care about die. If you're a Whedonite, that's not a spoiler. Someone you care about does die, but I'm not gonna tell you who, when, where, why, how, or what, cause that would be a spoiler. Shh. Spoilers. After all, too much foreknowledge can be a bad thing. You really gotta be careful what media outlet you get your information from. That's why I get all of my news from the internet, where anyone can say anything they want, so you know you're getting quality information. And the news outlets are completely unbiased. So anyway, if you should find yourself with some spare time and don't know how else to spend it, fight off the boredom and saunter down to your local movie theater and check out that very little known movie, The Avengers. Hey, I owe you! Oh yeah, one more thing. Perhaps you all remember there was another Marvel superhero that we all knew and loved quite recently? No? You don't know what I'm talking about? It's okay, it's just you and me. You don't have to pretend. I know Spider-Man 3 was terrible, but just because they're rebooting it doesn't mean that we have to pretend that Tobey Maguire never existed. Don't get me wrong, we can forget about Spider-Man 3. That's okay with me. But before the Avengers, they played a preview for The Amazing Spider-Man, and I gotta say it looked intriguing. I don't know what to make of it either. But that led me to predict that part of the reason that they're rebooting Spider-Man so soon is so that it will fit along with the rest of the motif so that he can be in the sequel to the Avengers. That's just my guess. Could be wrong.